SheetCam allows you to import DXF drawing files and convert them to cuttable G-code files for your CNC machine. You can do single parts or you can place multiple parts on a sheet. It allows you to manually place and rotate parts to best use the available material. Select File, New Job. Then select the file you wish to cut by starting with File, Import Drawing. Make sure the file type is set to DXF files. Locate your drawing on your computer or jump drive and open. Drawing options will open. Usually you will select inch and then the drawing position as lower left corner. The part will be placed on screen. Outside cuts are red, inside cuts are yellow, and open cuts, that is cuts that do not end where they start, are white. Now, select a tool to cut with. The tool is basically going to be a marker or plasma, but the plasma may have different cut widths depending on amperage required, and that depends on plate thickness. You will find these listed in your plasma operator's guide in the cutting charts. We will not go into that right now, but you will be referring to those charts to determine required kerf offset. We will also assume for the moment that we need a kerf offset of 0.8 inches. I have removed that tool from my system so we can create one. On the left side, it shows tools. You can label these any way you like, well as I do, by kerf. That way it is not tied to any one brand of plasma. The kerf is the tool diameter. You may think of it as the width of a saw blade. The cut path must be offset the correct amount to get a part with accurate dimensions. To add a new tool that you do not have, go to the top of the page and select Tools then New Jet Cutting Tool. Check Automatically Generate Name. Type is Plasma. Tool number will be assigned automatically. Enter the kerf width in inches. Feed rate is always 100 inches per minute. No pierce delays and normal lead-in type. No other settings apply. Select OK and will be added to the tools list on the left. Plate marker is created the same way, however since you will be not using an offset diameter, it's not important. Under Operation, select New Jet Cutting Operation. Select Outside Offset. Select the layer. If your drawing has multiple layers, this is where you can select just one layer for cutting or another layer for marking. If marking, always do that first. Select the tool. In this case, 0.080 kerf. Default feed rate is 100 inches per minute. Make sure that the reverse cut direction is selected. Plasma cuts best when the kerf is offset to the left, which is opposite milling tools. All internal cuts should be counterclockwise while external cuts are clockwise. Now you may specify arcs or lines for lead in and lead out, or none for either. Lead-in always allows you to pierce off the part and avoid the notch and splatter that the pierce produces. If you have internal cuts, always specify a small lead-out or none. Long lead-out on a hole will cause a lost arc as the part falls away while cutting. Make sure the leads are small enough to stay inside the holes or cutouts. Click OK and it's now tool pathed. At the top, you can select what to see. Tool paths, Rapids, Direction of Cut, Start Points, or even the True Width of Cut. To move a part on the plate, select the Move arrows at the top. Now, click and drag inside the part and you can place it anywhere manually. To rotate, enter an angle at the lower right. You can also select to mirror X or Y or both. To do more parts, first path a part like this one and then select File, Save Part. You can now add parts by selecting File, Open Part. Then using the Move tools, just relocate as many parts to the sheet as you like. When done, click P for Process in the upper left. Enter a file name, be sure to specify the folder, and click Save. Some errors about rapid clearance may appear, but they will have no effect on the machine. 
You may now exit sheet cam and that's all you need to do. The G code file is created and is ready to open and cut in Dynatorch.